I'm shocked. Shocked. That today's buyers are having trouble finding homes. You know how I love stats. I know you love stats, and I'm so glad you're on my team for that reason. <laughs> and today's stats come from the California Association of Realtors. They took buyers that have been looking for three months and haven't been able to find a home, and they're trying to figure out the reasons why maybe they haven't found a home, and we're shocked, right? We were totally shocked. Because a lot of our buyers aren't experiencing these issues, but maybe let's talk about why some of our buyers aren't experiencing these issues. Right. Let's start with this. 50% of the buyers that haven't been able to find a home within the first three months is here, unable to find a home at the price that they can afford. Exactly. So um, you might need some representatives on your team that can negotiate on your behalf to get you the price that you can afford. Correct, and also it's that setting up expectations at the beginning, sitting down with the right lender, understanding the loan programs available. A lot of people today walk into their bank and think, oh, I can't get a loan because they've got one size fits all for the loans. That's not the case at all. The right representatives like us create a team with our lenders and we figure out how to get you the best loan, and then of course, as Lane said, we love to roll up our sleeves and negotiate. Exactly, it comes to proper uh, expectations, proper education, and having a shark like Scott to negotiate on your behalf. But let's talk about number two. So 43% of the buyers that weren't able to find the home that they desire within the first three months, here's the reason, they're not being able to find a home in the neighborhood of their choice. And again, we don't like to hear that at the Sack Stone team because we do things a little bit differently. Absolutely, in this day and age, we know so many of you will find that neighborhood you like online first. And in our Orange County Marketplace, there's only one or two, two homes available. We are not afraid, again, to roll up our sleeves, get out and door knock. We pound know the pavement. We pound the pavement. If you don't ask, you don't get. We'll knock on the doors, develop a short report, ask the questions. Are you thinking about selling your home in the near future, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner? We get a conversation going, conversations lead to rapport, and rapport can lead to showings and transactions exactly. for our clients. Exactly. It's very common for somebody to come up to us and say, hey, I want to be in this neighborhood because of this particular school. And there might not be anything available, so like Scott said, do the dirty work, get out there, knock on doors. That's why we have a team. There's power in teams. So we're gonna take care of that number two step. I'll right even there. take a bite in the leg from a dog to get you the perfect <laughs> There home. it is, there it is. So let's talk about the final one. 40% uh, of buyers that weren't able to find a home within the first three months, the reason is they weren't able to find a home with the ideal must-have features. Exactly, and we live in that HGTV, Instagram, Pinterest world where we see so much and we say, I want that, I want that, I want that, and we have buyers that come to us with these long laundry lists of what they quote as must-haves. That's when we put our counseling hats on and we talk to them about what's really important 90% of the time on a day-to-day -day basis. It also goes to proper education because sometimes uh, buyers might not realize how inexpensive or expensive upgrading that feature might be because if they find the price of the house that they want in the neighborhood that they want but it might not check all the box for the features and it's not that expensive to do so, they need to have that in their back of their minds because it, it'll be the perfect house for them if it works out. Exactly. So summarizing that last item, it's you know, really counseling and saying, you know, how do we live 90% of the time? Maybe we don't need that formal dining room for two days a year. And then to Lane's point, can we look at the home as a little bit of a blank canvas and perhaps turn something into something that is on their wish list that they didn't see up front? Well, working around, working with the team who's been around since 1988, I mean, we're talking 31 years now, oh. we've built a database of people that we trust, we know, we like, and that are inexpensive because they take really good care of our clients to do some of these upgrades around the house, to get the features that you want. And we've been doing it for so long now, we kind of have a really good ballpark on how much some of this is gonna cost. So don't go in there blindly. I think it comes down to systems and experience. So Lane, in wrap up, let's real quickly summarize these three things and how the CAR stats are out there, but we can blow those out of the water sure. when clients work with us. Okay, really quickly, price, neighborhood, and features. That's the reason why a lot of these buyers aren't, be able, aren't able to find homes within the first three months. But you guys are all resilient because the stat at the very top left there, 62% of you guys are gonna still stick with it and stick out there. But the ones that are, you need some representatives like us to get fight on your behalf, to negotiate good price, to knock on the door to get the neighborhood that you want, and to be properly educated on what it takes to get all the features you're looking for. And absolutely, back to stats for later. And our stats show from consultation to contract, our clients are averaging about six weeks, way less than CAR. So that's why the Sack and Stone team is going to be your representatives. Thanks for watching.